So the reason I wanted to stretch paper is because I have this watercolor block from Fabriano. And what I've been hearing was, oh, it's a watercolor block. You don't have to stretch the paper because the paper is already stretched on the block. And because the pages are glued together, you don't have to, uh, you, you don't have to pre-wet, you don't have to, yeah, pre-wet the paper because the paper is glued down and it's going to be okay and it won't uh, warp on you. That is a lie. Period, point blank, it is a flat out lie. You have to stretch this paper just like any other watercolor paper. Any block. If it's Arches, if it's uh, Fabriano, if it's uh, Lamp Light, whatever the company is, if it's 100% cotton, if it's under like 300 uh, pound paper, it needs to be stretched. I was painting on this block last night. First time, you know, using this paper. The paper's great, by the way. Really like the paper. But the, uh, the page buckled. And as I was painting, the entire piece pulled off of the block. Right? So the piece that I was painting on on this paper pulled off of the block. And it's basically because I was adding a lot of washes. Yeah, so it was basically because I was adding a lot of washes to this paper. Maybe if you're just doing like floral work on this paper, then uh, maybe you don't have to pre-wet it. But if you're going to put multiple layers of washes onto this paper, you have to uh, stretch it. So what I advise you to do is if you do have a block, you take off the page that you want to paint on and then you apply it to a board and you stretch the paper like normal. I would not paint on this block if I'm using uh, lots of layers and lots of washes. It's not going to work, right? It's not gonna work. It's gonna pull off of the block. Your page is gonna warp. It's gonna have all of the hills and valleys just like any other paper would if you start to put a lot of water on it. So take off that paper and put it uh, onto a board like this. Excuse me, it's kind of dirty. I'm just doing this on the floor. Okay, yeah. So, this is the paper from the block. Uh, from the block. And all I did was uh, I applied water onto the paper and then I taped the paper down around the edge actually it's two different ways on one piece of paper I'm just testing this out so on one piece of paper I only wetted one side so I taped the paper down first and then I wetted the paper and dried it with the blow dryer and then on this piece of paper I wetted the back side flipped it over and then uh, taped it down and wetted the front side as well the only thing about doing this, if you're using masking tape, the tape is going to pull off. And I've been, you know, learning about this because this is my first time stretching paper. Uh, I'm going to be making videos soon about using watercolor paper because I've only been using uh, sketchbook paper so far. Watercolor sketchbook paper. And uh, I bought this watercolor block of art, uh, artist grade paper and this is my first time using it was last night and I can already tell the difference in uh, the quality of the work already but like I said last night it pulled off of the block so you have to wet this beforehand I'll link some videos down in the description about different ways to stretch watercolor paper the way that I use was just with what I had I didn't go buy anything spectacular uh, to you know try to stretch the paper I don't know if it really worked well because I haven't painted on this yet but it's gonna be a trial and error thing but there's a lot of videos all over YouTube about techniques on how to stretch paper so I'm not gonna do a whole technique video on how to do it because everybody does it I just want to let you know that 
if you have a watercolor block, no matter what brand it is, that paper needs to be stretched just like any other paper. Do not let anyone tell you that, oh, it's a watercolor block. You don't have to stretch it. They are lying. They are lying to you. Take the paper off of the block, stretch the paper, and then feel free to use it however you want it. Don't use it on the block and then the paper warp on you. If you're just going to do something with light washes and you're not going to put a lot of washes on, go ahead and use it on the block. It shouldn't be a problem. If you're going to do multiple layers of washes, take it off the block. Okay? I hope this video helps everyone. Uh, again, the videos are down in the description below about how exactly to stretch this watercolor paper. And feel free to ask any questions uh, down in the comments. Uh, about stretching paper because I'm doing tests right now about how exactly I'm going to stretch this paper. So thank you again for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to, uh, to the channel, especially if you like this video. And also share the video around. Never know who it might help. Thank you again for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.